I was an intern in adult medicine uh, before I became a pediatrician, taking care one night in 1973, I remember, of a lady who was dying from severe diabetic ketoacidosis. The acid levels in that lady's blood had built up to a very high level, and because of her level of acidosis, her heartbeat was weakened, and there was a vicious cycle because her heart was weak, her body tissues, which were deprived of their usual blood supply, were generating even more acid. That weakened her heart further, and we, the doctors and nurses, had been struggling all day, de several days at her bedside, every trick we knew to break that cycle. But her blood pressure was falling and her death was imminent within hours, probably. But now it was only me. It was midnight, I remember, and the other doctors were all asleep. I was on duty, I was alone, I was standing by her bedside, and I felt really helpless as she was drifting away. It would also be hard to tell you how exhausted I was at that point. I thought of sleeping, but I didn't sleep. And then I remember somewhere in the back of my mind, uh, a, a connection got made. I remembered that several months ago, I had attended a lecture on a different kind of acidosis than this lady had, and it required a different form of treatment in general, but the lecture had introduced something that surprised me. He said that for some forms of acidosis, I believe it was intravenous methylene blue, but don't quote me, might theoretically provide some short-term relief, and I decided to try it. The biochemistry made sense to me, the system made sense to me. It was a short-term fix, but in, if with a few minutes of better acid balance, I thought that her heart might beat a little more strongly, could clear some of the acid, and I could reverse this cycle. Now, I do not remember this lady's name. I don't have any idea where she is today, and I don't even know if she's alive or dead now. What I do remember is the tracing on the blood pressure monitor, which minute by minute first slowed its rate of fall and then started going up minute by minute. Then she started to breathe spontaneously. Then I remember her first, first movements, and I remember 30 minutes later her eyes opening, looking at me. I also remember that three days later, the attending doctor who had expected to sign this lady's death certificate signed her discharge papers instead. I guess that was my report card. <clears throat> Why didn't I go to bed? Why did I continue to stand there to, to think and to struggle and to reach for uh, some bolt at the bottom of that tank, my own mind? It was not, I assure you, anything like heroism. It was something different, and the best way I can say it is that I knew it was my job. 